Okay, it's one of these kind of abstract exponential equations. It looks really hard because there's just like no numbers in it and it's all a bit confusing, but not if you just relax and do it one step at a time. And if you know um, how exponential equations work, like for example here, it says Q is less than zero. It's You've got to know it's exponential. That Q there uh, means it's the asymptote. So y equals q, I don't know where it is, but it's got to be less than zero. There's that red line, y equals q. Well, there's a mark for that. Now, um, where is this thing going to cross the y-axis? All I do is let x equals zero. b to the zero would be one. It's got to cross down here, and it's got to be a plus q. It'll be, q has to be a negative number, and a's got to be negative two because it says it's less than zero. And you have to know that if it was a normal graph of uh, uh, b is greater than zero, it would be taking off like this and up in the airport. But because it's like this, like it's an airplane taking off an airport, and there would be your axis of symmetry, this y equals q. But it's negative. a is negative. So it's got to be taking off down. If So if you know the shape of exponential equations, this green line is a, is a sketch of what it must be taking off down. It must be cutting through some place, which if I let x equals 0, I get the y-intercept, a plus q, and there's your asymptote. And that's why it works. If you know, you have to actually learn, what does it mean when you've got a, a negative exponential graph? What does it mean when it's greater than 1, like 1, uh, 2, or 3? What does it mean when it's a fraction, you know, like 1 half or 1 third? What is the shape? You have to know those things. And you have to know y equals q is the um, asymptote for the equation, for the um, exponential equation. It's the place that it can't touch. It just doesn't go there. Okay.